Hello once again everyone. Uh, you're looking at the Lunar Orbiter Mark II, which is about to get converted into a new orbital maneuvering rig. See, I looked at my science and we have a minor problem. Namely, we're missing all the science that one would need to get any more... Ah, that my bad. Basically missing all the science I need to continue the process of building up our project. Okay, fine. Be that way, you silly thing. I don't know why it gets silly sometimes, but we'll just use that uh, pre-made uh, sub-assembly I have. Okay, so I don't have enough material or... Um, science to get any more any technology that would help out with the troubles I've been having which is either going to be ship engines with alternators across the board or the new battery style, new style batteries I'm still not decided on which but regardless of which I decide to get I don't have enough science for it which means to me I need to send another poor sucker Kerbal into orbit to get that science So that's, so I need one more of those, one more of those, there we go, and a set of these, four of those, and I don't technically have to get them back alive, but I'd sure like to. So that's where the communicatrons come in, so we can transmit the useful data he collects back to Kerbin. We'll actually put that on a antenna. So we're missing the Shores and the Badlands, two of the harder Kerbal Orbiter. We're just going to call it the Kerbal Orbiter. Um, and then, right, right. Okay. So one goes on that and this goes on crew report goes on too okay so let's see what have I forgotten um, that's our little RCS reentry rig comes with the uh, more batteries we need another batch of batteries because we need to be able to orbit for quite some time to try and get the bloody hard to find um, badlands biome is our really big problem here. How to get that is our really big challenge. But hopefully this thing that I used to get to the moon is more should be more than adequate for the job of getting somebody back to Kerbin. I'll shut off this quintet of batteries. Actually no. No, those will just ride down, but we will set off the electrical charge in the capsule so that we have enough to uh, maneuver the ship. Okay. Shores and Badlands. Those are our targets one way or another here. Of course, we've got a slightly badly staged rocket here, and we better not allow that to go. And this one, do I have that right? No, I don't. I still have I have that wrong, don't I? That one goes down there. That one goes up there. That first. Nope. I do have it backwards. So this one goes down here. And it should remove all of the lower stages. Correct. In preparation for reentry. And this one engine goes down at the bottom with the rest of them. I better get rid of that sub-assembly. I wonder if I can delete it. Yeah, I better delete both of those, because... Oh, crap. All right, we're fine. Come on. Man, that is a s bit of a dis interface glitch, if you ask me. Okay. And who's going to be our crew member? Let's send Keegan. 
brave, stupid person, apparently. Is there anything I've forgotten? I've got the electrical organized. I've got the SAS reentry module. I've got the staging set up right. Look at the. Oh, heck with it. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's orbit Kerbin and get our bloody trip organized. All right, Keegan, launching in three, two, one, lift off, SAS, and this will be a polar orbit. So the only way I can guarantee hitting the stupid Badlands, any reliability. Of course, life support is so limited. Um, let's see, where is, I can't go to the map right now try and not lose control of our ship here. Yeah, relax, Keegan. It's all good. Yeah, I can't believe we missed the shores earlier. That's just a funny little oversight, that's all. Control of the ship. We've had so much bad luck with things tipping at inopportune moments. I'd hate to have that happen with the man capsule here. Looking down. Okay, well, we're out of the lower atmosphere with still a fair chunk of fuel left, which is good. this time. Let's see. We've had some. I'm going to do a slightly off perfect polar orbit here. It's going to be an eccentric orbit instead. The idea being that uh, Okay. That's enough. RCS on. Um, we don't need the poles, is the thing. So we can do a fairly off-kilter orbit with the intent of picking up the information that we actually need as opposed to the poles, which we don't really need. I just hope I've got the right eccentricity to this. If not, we bring them back and call it good. Okay, uh, that apoapsis is high enough, not just barely, actually. Okay, so I don't know what's going on there, but let's give it full power to the engines. This shall be our orbit of chaos and failure. That's a nice, decent apoapsis now. Let that be until we get a little closer to it. Even go just a little. There we are. So, oh, no, we're pretty close to it. Never mind. All power to the engines. Come on, keep that nose down. I don't want to waste any more energy than necessary on this. Granted, we don't need to use this unit to get to the moon, but still. Okay. And on to the lighter upper stage. There we go. Okay, lock it on, lock it on, lock it on. Come on, orbit. Come on, orbit.
orbital entry. Get that apoapsis, that periapsis out of the planet. Come on. Come on, geez, you'd think you'd done this enough times. Man, it's amazing how much heavier a Kerbal is than some of these other payloads. Isn't that annoying? Come on, Periapsis. Up, 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 up. Higher, 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 higher. Good enough. Okay, now I heard something about this version actually telling us what... How was that working? There was some way of telling what part of the planet we were over. I'm just trying to remember what it was you had to interact with. But regardless, let's... Get those communicatrons out. Oh, that's a that was not an intentional clipping glitch there. Shores, transmit that shores data. That's one. Per, that's fifty percent of the data right there. Good stuff. Now let's see where our orbit is going to take us today. Where are we going to go today? Possibly over the part of the planet we need. Maybe precession will be on our side. And maybe in the meantime, I can try and figure out how to figure out what part of the planet we're over. Oh, where's my SAS module? That would be why I was having a bit of trouble with getting into orbit. Well, okay. I can tell you without a doubt there is a way in the latest version of Better Than Wolves of knowing what um, biome you're over, like actually tracking it. I'm looking for it on the screen here. I don't see it. Lights, brakes, gears, that's not it. It's not in there. I think it was by bringing up the data from something. From one of these devices. Communicatrons, maybe? No. Yeah, there was, there was a device that actually would tell you what what biome you were over for the purposes of making it easier, you know, a sample fest. And danged if I can remember what part of the ship it was I was supposed to be looking at. Oh, the failure of new features. You know what? I'm going to find out right now because this is important information and it could make this a big difference in for other people here. So just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so it's supposed I've got the update that had the uh, change in it. So it's supposed to be available by right-clicking the part. So if I click crew report, um, somewhere in here there's, did I remember to update? You know, I honestly can't remember if I updated to the newest version of the program or not. Um, but in the absence, it said, uh, it says here, uh, displayed it to each experiment of which situation it is, flying, high space, uh, biome sensitivity, um, by right clicking the associated part in flight to bring up this menu here. So in the absence of that information here, that tells me I have neglected to update to the newest version of Kerbal Space Program in spite of my general care in that regard which is a little annoying uh, foolish mistake on my part but I guess we'll just make do for this episode and I will update immediately after I finish recording here today that's too bad that would have been a really really useful feature right there especially trying to find the bloody badlands my least favorite biome of all Sorry, Flower Child, that was a pretty goofy mistake on my part. I looked at it and I thought, geez, that's an awesome update, and completely forgot to bloody install it. All right, come on around, big guy. Let's get that. Uh... 
Let's try and hit this uh, biome here. Okay. Lots of life support left. Highlands. I just hope I got enough life support left for one more orbit because I'm not positive I'm going to hit a Badlands biome on this pass. Badlands! Send that sucker home. Seriously, get her gone. And then we can deorbit this sucker over the ocean, preferably. So let's deorbit here. There's, if we pull the plug there, there's almost no way we'll miss the ocean. Actually, it's a pretty good chance we'll hit that chunk of land there. Okay, that's our deorbit maneuver. We have transmitted the data on our last two biomes, which will give us a nice 60, 50 or 60 science. It's enough for one more technology, which is nice. I have one more Mooner um, biome that we don't have for Gravioli, which would be nice, but I'm not going to fret too much about it because it's going to be a pain to get. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't let me forget to turn the power back on. Actually, you know what? I think I can get away with doing that now. Okay. Okay, and just disappear that periapsis. And you know what? That should be a nice, safe... We'll bring it down a little lower. But actually, you know, come to think of it, I might be able to just use this to uh, as an actual honest to god arrow breaking system here. I might be able to slow myself down enough with a half tank of bloody gas left. I might be able to bring this whole rig most of the way down. Worth an experiment. Just to see how far the fuel goes. And the engines, how far the engines go. Because we are slowing down quite nicely here, actually. Sorry, Keegan, you're part of an experiment now. Not a safe experiment either. That experiment being how much? Of course, we want to make sure we actually get back to the ground in a reasonable amount of time here, so. Let's just time warp a bit until we're dropping down into the more reasonable place to do this uh, burn. Alright. All power to the engines. Let's see how much how much of our orbital mess we can burn away this time. Atmosphere here now. All right, let's see how far. Oh, not far enough. Okay, well, that's fine. That still burned off a lot of our. Um, okay. 
powers on to our I'll just get a little more distance there. We are gaining a lot of speed here, um, probably because I didn't come in at a shallow enough angle. Oh well, sorry Keegan, I'd rather you came back alive, but sometimes we can't always get what we want. There we go, and now it's your turn. Hopefully... Well, okay, the Blade of Shield is not burning off too quickly here, so that's good. So maybe we did do it right. That That's actually not... didn't work out too badly. Some of our attempts have burned off more than 75% of that ablative shield, so... Having... Well, okay, that's... No, nah, that's not bad. That's, that's less... Th that's a little more than half, but that's still better than some attempts I've seen. I just hope we burned off enough speed for the parachute to not explode on us, as it did in the previous episode during our very poorly managed re-entry attempt. Okay, so, okay, this is pretty textbook. 5,000 meters, we're under, so we need to use that to arrow break a whole bunch more before the parachute deploys at 500 meters. And we bring Keegan home alive, I hope. New ocean texture. It's a little sad. The, re the repeating patterns kind of just break the immersion just a little. But it's not really a super immersive game. Still, just just something. That's all. Beautiful. All right. Proper re-entry has been achieved. And we'll be on the ground in a couple minutes. Seconds. Bloop. Cover that vessel. The vessel. Okay, guys. Well, that was a sort of a palate cleanser after the disasters we've had. Oh, vessel return for Kerbin Orbit. Cool. A little bonus science there. And that's enough science for us to get one more technology. The question of the day is what will be used for, for a lunar re return? These or these much more powerful and long-lasting battery packs. I really don't know. Um, or, I wonder how much science you get for an EVA attempt or, uh, in orbit around Kerbin. Or if there is even science for just getting out of the ship. I can't even remember now. Uh, I'll have to look that up. I know it's not um, biome-based, at least, anymore. New parachutes. Um, new control systems. Okay, that's all stuff for another time. It's getting late here. I'm starting to get a bit tired. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.